Hey there everyone, welcome back in Django Rudo app tutorial series. My name is Azhar Slim. In this tutorial, we are going to create update functionality in our Django Rudo app. And uh, first of all, we have to fix success uh, URL of our create view. So first of all, I'm going to import here reverse lazy from django.url import reverse easy and here we have to import update view and uh, as well I'm going to import delete view so reverse lazy pass here reverse lazy to do's which is here actually it's better if I pass here also to do's if I go to here to do's perfect and uh, I'm going to create one more to do furniture fixture save okay it's good it's coming here for create uh, the first step when we click here it should be redirect to this form and uh, we can update the value so first of all we have to create a view and I'm going to just copy my create views update view same as create view just uh, one line of code is different instead of create update and here model to do that's it same as create view we have here update view and uh, just this line of code model to do we have to pass a model in our update view and uh, reverse uh, lazy to do means when our to do is update automatically it will redirect to the main page save we have to create a url for our update view to do update I'm just going to copy and paste this line for our create and instead of create here int pk and uh, update that's it what's happening here actually it's uh, when someone click or when we click here this edit button we have to pass here as also id which is appear here in our uh, url as a get request so then we pass here update you can even no need if you want to remove no problem it will work perfectly and uh, here we uh, write our view to update view and uh, take it as a view because uh, class based view and here the name of our URL save and in last step just go to <coughs> excuse me let's go to your to do view and here we have a edit button if and uh, here I'm going to pass data dot ID slash update that's it I'll explain what is this just uh, this time let me complete this Cut the button and place inside a herif reload <coughs> you can see here's the URL is coming okay if I click first uh, to do and it's coming first to do good morning first to do update it if I save this to do now you can see 
Good morning. First to do learn Django framework. Save learn Django framework is updated now. <clears throat> so let's go and discuss what is happening here. Here we pass IE href and uh, before because our if I click here edit we are already in to do's which we pass in our URL start by here and after that we need a ID this type is integer and pk is primary key so I pass here where is uh, here the data dot ID which we are taking this data from our loop so for loop here data dot id then slash update it's optional if you want to put or not this update which we create here in our urls update here and view it's the same as our create view just for this line model to do we have to pass here and uh, our to do app added part is complete and it's working perfectly and uh, in next tutorial we'll create the functionality of uh, delete view so that's all this tutorial